Hello, this is Erica from BlacksandPeriodsFilms.com, and today is the first day of our Write It series for Black History Month. Today is February 1st, 2017, and on February 1st, 1865, John Stuart Rock became the first Black attorney admitted to the bar of the Supreme Court of the United States. The first Black person received on the floor of the Supreme on the floor of the United States House of Representatives and the first black man to earn a medical degree, John S. Rock spent his entire life breaking the mold of the average black person. Starting with his birth, John S. Rock was born free in 1825 Salem, New Jersey. Although not much is known about his childhood, we do know that he was born to free people of color and the and that education was encouraged in his household. He spent his time as a teacher, doctor, dentist, lawyer, and abolitionist. I've provided links down below so that you can read more up on him and learn more about him in your free time. When I was reading up on him, the person that came to mind as a good person to play him was Rob Brown because they have a lot of similarities. First of all, just by the looks of them, when I saw this picture, um, Rob Brown came to mind. And this is how I do my fan casting. I go off of how they look mostly, but I feel like Rob Brown also has the acting chops to back it up. To back it up. Now, Rob Brown and John S. Rock, I feel like they have similar foreheads right here. Maybe it's just me. Additionally, he has piercing eyes, and so does Rob Brown. They, they like, peer into your soul. Um, Rob Brown is known for his roles in Coach Carter, Treme, Finding Forrester. But one role that is especially important here is his role in the film The Express, a 2008 film, where he played Ernie Davis. Now, he did a great job playing a man from the 1960s, so I think he'll be able to play a man from the 1860s. His posture was wonderful, the way he carried himself, the way he talked, he, he fit perfectly in with the 1860s. He looks like a person from the 1860s, <laughs> from the 1960s, I've been saying 1860s, I meant 1960s. And so I think he would also work in the 1860s, in the 1860s. One of the important um, parts of a, any period film is the location. And these um, two pictures are from where his law office in Boston was located on the famed Tremont Street. And so to have this imagery alongside a black man um, would be wonderful because most films that take place in the early 1800s or the mid 1800s. It's usually slavery. Now, I personally don't have a problem with the imagery, but I know that it upsets a lot of people. Even some of you that um, that frequent this film, you often say that you want films that don't involve slavery. And so this is a wonderful opportunity for that to happen. One of the most important parts of the film, I think will be, um, one of the most important visual parts of the film, I think, will be the fashion. And I think the fashion will be so important because of his position as a free person of color, his position as an educated free person of color. He was a teacher, a doctor, a dentist, a lawyer, an abolitionist. The way he dressed was very important to how the circles he was trying to get into would view him. And so the way he dressed would be very important. And the one picture we do have of him that shows his clothing shows him as a well-dressed man. He looks very similar to this man right here with the long coat, the wonderful shoes, the bow tie. I think John um, Rock knew that the way he dressed would, um, would be how people viewed him. And I think Rob Brown, who is 6'1", and I feel like has a, would have a similar air about himself as John Rock, would look wonderful in these fashions. Now, 
he didn't lead a very long life. He lived to his 40s, sadly. And that's because he had tuberculosis. And his illness is what prompted him to travel the world the way he did. He had to go to another country so that he could receive better medical care. So he ended up going to France. And while he was there, he learned French and German. So he was very smart. He picked up languages easily. And his he had difficulty getting a passport. Um, if you read up on him, you'll see that one of the judges did not want to give him a passport because they did not feel that he was an American citizen or that he deserved a passport as an American citizen. So that would be an interesting part of the movie to be so educated, but to be denied a passport um, because you're not considered a, a citizen, a human. Um, so with all this information, I think his headspace as a character, a free person of color, an educated free person of color, that's achieving so much in your life, but to know that the bulk of the people that look like you are not doing the same thing has to be very um, daunting. He was admitted to the bar one day after the 13th Amendment was approved. Of course, we know the 13th Amendment um, is what ended slavery illegally. So imagine how he felt. You're admitted to the bar of the Supreme Court, the very court that just um, said that the people, your people, are no longer slaves. It had to be um, a very daunting place to be in. Um, with his story, you could do a story about his time in France. You could do a story about his childhood, which we don't know much about. So that would be historical fiction. You could do a story about his parents, or you could take the approach of writing a story of a, an original character, uh, a person that lives a free person of color that lived in New Jersey at the time that he was around. He could just be a background character. Um, we don't know anything. I, I haven't found anything about romance. So I don't know if um, you could make that story lean anyway, really, with romance. Um, he didn't have any children from what I've seen. I could be wrong, but what, everything I researched, they didn't mention a wife, um, uh, anything any kind of romance and he had no children. So, I mean, if you a historical fiction writer, historical fiction, you could add a character in there as a girlfriend or, you know, a love lost type story. There's so much you can do with his story because it's so unique and it's just full of opportunities. So I'm gonna say it, <laughs> we were there in history, now go and write it.